So in today's lesson, you'll be talking about the counter set. And the counter set is an, a very important concept in topology. Um, it's an example of a disconnected space, in fact, a totally disconnected space. So the counter set is a set of points lying on a single line segment and having deep, deep and remarkable properties. Sorry. So we will learn how to generate um, the formula for the counter set. So we will learn the generation. And mostly when we are generating a formula for the counter set, what we do is that we take the close interval 0, 1 and we divide it into three equal parts. And then we find what we call the middle third. And we use the middle third to generate the formula. So for instance, let's illustrate what we are doing so far. So this is the open interval, sorry, the close interval 0, 1. When we divide it into three parts, we have 1 over 3 here, 2 over 3 here. So we realize that this becomes our middle third. So our middle third is given by the open interval 1, 3, and 2, 3. So we then use this to generate a formula for the counter set. So it is given by C subscript N equals 1 over 3 C subscript N minus 1 union 2 over 3 plus, as you can see over there, with N greater than or equal to 1 and C naught equals the close interval 0, 1. So actually this is the formula for the counter set so with this formula um sometimes we are being asked to find c1 c2 c3 and what have you so we learn how to use this relation to find c1 and c2 possibly right so in finding for c1 um comparing with the formula we know we are going to have one over three c naught union 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 c naught but we know that c naught is given by the close interval 0 1 so this means our c1 will be equal to 1 over 3 multiplying the close interval 0 1 union 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 yes so when we have this, then what we do is that we divide 2 by 3. So 0 over 3 is 0 and 1 over 3 is 1 over 3. Then union, we still have a 2 over 3 plus, this gives us 0, 1 over 3. So this C1 is 0, 1 over 3, union. So now, what is 2 over 3 plus 0? That gives us what 2 over 3. And what is 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3? Which will give us 1. So that means this becomes the C1. When you're looking for C2, you have to use C1 to find for C2. So C2 will be equal to C1 over 3 union 2 over 3 plus C1 over 3. This becomes a bit complex, but it's not that complex. So our C1 is 0, 1 over 3, close interval, union, 2 over 3, comma 1, all divided by 3. Then union, 2 over 3, plus 0, 1 over 3, union, 2 over 3, 1, all over Three. So when you try to simplify this down, we have zero over three, which is zero. One over three over three, which is one over nine. Then union two over three over three, which is two over nine, and one over three, which is one over three. 
The music is Union. Two over three plus the same thing as what we have over here. So zero one over nine union two over nine comma one over three. So our C two is then this. All right. So when you get here, zero plus two over three is two over three. Then we have two over three plus one over nine, which is seven over nine. Then union two over three plus union. I'm sorry, two over three plus two over nine, which is eight over nine. And two over three plus one over three, which is three over three, which will give us one. So this becomes the formula or the relation for C2. So can you use the same concept? Can you use the same concept? To find C3. So we'll try and find C3. So that's it with um, counter set. Counter set is a very simple concept to understand. Once again, I'm Budu Kandringdorf, third year student of mathematics, the primary university of science and technology. Thank you.